Welcome to Parnassus Beta, a colony full of Midwestern Majorans who fear Federation membership will put a target on their heads. Too late, miraculously the Cayuga is turned into space garbage. A Gorn Wetchamakal is inserted on the planet to block comms, transporters, and sensors. They send a message to Starfleet, a demarcation line, declaring the planet in Gorn space. April and company say they want to avoid a Gorn war. Pike brings out a crate of Gorn gear, covers the shuttle in space debris, and Ortegas takes a team down to Parnassus. Not just Captain Patel and the colonists, they find Scotty, who establishes the Gorn reacted to solar activity, invading because of sunspots. Patel, Pike, and Scotty trek to a shuttle to get a Gorn transponder he built. They are engaged, but a baby Gorn leaves them alone, as Captain Patel is Gorn pregnant. Meanwhile, in outer space, Spock and Nurse Chapel fight a big Gorn. Gorns wear helmets, but Romulans do not. What is this coming to? Chapel wakes up to a talking computer on what is left of the Cayuga saucer, while Spock sets rocket chargers to drop it on the whatchamacallit, and this does work. Enterprise beams up a party of Spock and a party of Chris, pregnant Gorn mommy, but the Gorn get the Cayuga crew, the Bajorans, and Banga, Ortega, Sam, and La'an. More Gorn vessels come as Enterprise is attacked. Starfleet orders the withdrawal. I don't want to wait for it. I want the rest to come. We got to know what happens. It's too horrible to be continued.